Oh, good morning, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Jonna from Crafts, Plants, and Succulents. Uh, I'm outside and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's so sunny, though it's only 64 degrees. But it's a sunny day. <laughs> so I didn't run yesterday. So I'm running today. Sorry, I'm short in some bread. I'm showing you this palm tree. Looks so tall and beautiful. And the sun is uh, shining now. <laughs> so sunny. And let's see. That's the mountain over there. The back of those uh, big trees. Oh, hello again everyone this is Jonah from crops plants and succulents so today is uh, October 18 2022 it's already Tuesday right now uh, it's uh, it's 82 degrees 1130 in the morning so the Sun is still intense on that side the Sun is still intense on that side so i'm cleaning out let's continue the cleaning project which is this would be the part 14 i do believe yesterday's part 13 yeah but uh today so the table is clean <laughs> and i put first all those hanging uh my whatever bird nest <laughs> uh, on this side on this uh so this one uh, i'm still thinking where to put until the flooring is done so i told you yesterday that uh the remaining uh reed fence like that i put it here hold on on the main entrance here on the main entrance here but it didn't work <laughs> and then I told you guys that I put uh, everything I, uh, I sealed the lower portion so they can come it didn't work so in short when I get in last night they're here so I took out the the red fencing and let's see and then uh, we have more options as long as we don't hurt the cats as long as we don't harm them that's okay uh, we'll deal it uh, in a better way in a best way me and the neighborhood we talk about it and we'll see me and Mike we talk about it and we'll see because they feel uh, safe here so I they, all, they stay there if I'm in the uh, patio they run immediately there in the backyard but let's see so let's change the subject <laughs> you will notice that there are new plants hanging in a six inches pot hanging pots one two three four what is this ornamental plants i'm gonna split them i'm gonna put some in my room in my house inside the house this is philodendron brazil so i got them in a nursery uh, no no correction not nursery it's in a it's it's in a asian supermarket it's so timing when i went there last saturday let's see how much it's just there guys 5.99 so cheap and healthy that's where i got my most of my plants that are cheap the the and some spider plants join me as I will spray them with neem oil so the neem oil is here 
Actually, you don't need to shake, but I shake because uh, sometimes. Okay. So I'm gonna spray. There you go. I'm gonna go under. Since I'm holding the camera, my iPhone, I'll just and inside too. There you go. So I let them be saturated. I'm not gonna wipe because uh, the, the name all should be. Sorry for the camera. The name all should be absorbed by the plants. What's the secret of my ornamental plants? Neem oil. Neem oil, soil, and uh, proper care, meaning uh, you give them water when they need. And like I said, I give water that are, that I collected that are stranded for at least 24 hours. So it's not too much chlorine. So there you go, so. We go on the third. <laughs> there you go. Gonna rotate you like that, huh? That's just temporary Brazil, because I need to. Okay, since oh, I thought this is a uh, dried leaves, but it's uh, it's roots. I think it's roots. Okay, so spray, spray, spray. So remember, do not uh, put your sprayed, newly sprayed plants in any sun rays or sunlight or sun exposure. So now there's no, the sun is heading in front. And there's no more sun in this uh, location. There's even no sun rays and sunlight. So they're safe here. I'm gonna leave them here and then tomorrow ah, so Not tomorrow So let them saturate it and then once I prepare the, the pots I can uh, Look at that too, too many new babies coming I realize Brazil is easy to take care as long as uh, you give their needs in because some plants then you give their needs you give everything and I thought they are hard to take care but I'm wrong because uh, you know the one uh, my lush plants that I bought $30 way back died because it's my fault I gave them uh, too much fertilizer so now before I fertilize, guys, before you fertilize, we don't always remember the the what we what we fertilize or what did we use. So Google or when did you fertilize? So I my the rule of the thumb in my patio garden is and inside the house is before I will fertilize, I will check <laughs> on uh Google, I will Google, it. are they, are, is it okay to fertilize this time, blah, 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 and many more. So, and one thing more, I got an idea every time I fertilize, I will put a piece of tape here, and then I will write fertilize and the, uh, and the date. So meaning, that's the date I fertilize, and at the same time, I'm gonna write as well what fertilizer I use, so. I introduce you to this, uh, this, uh, my philodendron Brazil. We're gonna choose which one. My plan is to uh, repot one 
and then put in this put in this I need to reuse it and then I put it inside so I, I want to change the soil one of them I'm gonna change the soil for, uh, in this video this one is cordata uh, is this cordatum? yeah this is cordatum so yesterday we spray them how you call it uh, neem oil so spraying neem oil helps them to not to be invaded by mealybugs before I will bring them inside the house so I can put them now and then even they're here because uh, I'm not worried anymore that bugs will interfere because they are already sprayed from the time I got them and then I sprayed also again yesterday so one more uh, Let's bring them back here because I want to choose which one it looks good. So guys, this is Pilodendron Brazil. And one time we will repot them in one con big container like, like this one. Like my Pilodendron Cordatum. Look how healthy. Too many brooms here because I'm not that. Okay, so let's decide first which one I need to repot. Okay, not this one. Not this one. So the... The succulents that I shared to you, I started to expose them in a... In a... Under the sun, it's a morning sun still, so it's okay. Let them uh, so I think I'm gonna repot it. This one, no, it's too, it's not balanced. Let's do this one like that, or this one. Or this one okay let's see all right so let's continue sweeping the floor so uh, let's sweep the floor you see they catch birds That's it for now. And let's see. Oh, wait. <laughs> let's check this one. Let me share them once more. So, this is the begonia. Another begonia. Another begonia. Bird's nest. secured over there all right guys look at the cord datum so healthy okay guys so i'm gonna start repotting this uh pilodendron brazil this is my choice among the four let's see and uh i'll just check the the soil i want to change the soil why though they're beautiful 
let's see but i want my my amended soil when i say amended i i i added something so i added like a few drops of neem oil i added a few few granules of osmocot so there is a very light there is a how you call it <laughs> coco coco choir and i added also pit moss and that's it pretty much i just need to mix mix them all together so the soil is the indoor potting soil miracle grow that i got in uh, home depot all right guys we will start okay guys we will start so this is jonah from crops plants and succulents and uh, i decided to utilize this repot it here there, i put already a liner this is my extra when i am doing my practice for the my point is uh i need just to retouch my point is just in case she overgrew, she overgrew, I can take out from here and then, you know, I can just put a uh, hanging, I can make it hanging. All right, let's start. So this is philodendron Brazil, one of my favorite philodendron. We're gonna clean. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing good and en enjoying gardening. Oh wow, look at the roots, guys. The roots look so good. But I need to check. I hope there's no bugs. <laughs> Thank you everyone for those always watching the the, the, uh, the premiere. So I'm gonna put her now. I don't know if there is a bigger pot than this. It's okay. I think she deserves a bigger pot, but for the meantime. I don't know if I have eight inches pot. my amended soil has a uh, neem oil so I'm positive that they're not gonna get bugs on the soil okay guys so this is 
it. I just need to fix her and then place in a better place position and clean. All right, guys. Thank you so much. God bless and see you all the time. And then uh, always remember God loves you. Jonah loves you too. And passion makes <laughs> home and garden. Her garden and home beautiful. Bye, guys. God bless. Everybody.